Okay, for part A, we're going to find the concentration of copper ion in solution if we're given an absorbance of 0.338 at a wavelength of 732 nanometers. And we're going to go ahead and disregard the uh, cobalt and nickel absorbances at that wavelength because they're fairly negligible. We're just looking for copper in solution, and we can assume that most of the absorbance comes from that. Slide, so our absorbance given equals 0.338. And that, uh, so this comes down to a simple Beer's Law equation. Uh, since we have negligible absorbances um, of the other analytes at that wavelength, so we're going to go ahead and assume that copper ion is the only metal in solution that we're looking for. So Beer's Law A equals epsilon B times the concentration, and our B is going to be one, since we have a simple one centimeter cell. So that calculation runs 0.338 equals the given molar absorptivity, which is 95.2 times one times C. And if we crunch the numbers on that, it gives us a concentration of 0 0.0036 or 3.6 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. So for part B, we're, we are interested in the concentrations of copper and cobalt in one solution. And so we're given the absorbance, uh, the total absorbance at two different wavelengths, 732 nanometers and 462.9 nanometers. So we're going to have to set this up as a system of two equations. So we can divide up the total absorbance into the absorbance of each species. Oh, how do I... So overall we'll have A equals epsilon beta C for C for copper plus epsilon beta C for cobalt. And then for our... Okay, I'll just... Everything you can read. Okay, so here we have our two systems of equations for each wavelength. Um, and so now we just have to do some algebra to solve them. So we can rearrange our second equation as follows, uh, solving for the concentration of copper in the solution. Then we can plug that, that back into our other equation. Okay, so that now we have our, <laughs> our first equation with our uh, concentration of carbon 2 plus uh, replaced with the expression here. And so now we can uh, combine like terms and solve for the concentration of cobalt. It turns out to be... 6.09 times 10 to the minus third molar. <laughs> okay, so now we, using the value we solved for for the concentration of cobalt, we can plug that into our solved expression for the concentration of copper 2 plus, uh, plugging in 6.09 times 10 to the minus third for copper 2 plus, or cobalt 2 plus right here. And solving, that gives us the concentration of copper. Uh, 4.58 times 10 to the minus 3rd molar.